this is it. This is Yurike. This is my happy place. And this is also my fifth time down here. And there's a reason why I keep coming back. It's magical down here. And I love the people. It's a very friendly community. It's welcoming. I love the mountains, obviously, the barrancas, the cliffs. I love the food. I love the music. I love the race. And I love the history of the Raramuri people. You know, I first came down here in 2015 after having read the book Born to Run. And that book just got me so fired up. And I thought, I got to come down here. Running the race is only a little piece of why I come here. It's the community, it's the solidarity, it's the friendships that I have created with people here in this community and from all over the world. I want to give you a little background about the race. It was started by Micah True, otherwise known as Caballo Blanco. And he lived for many years down in the Copper Canyons and he fell in love with the people. And he started this race as a way to honor their culture and to bring down people from all over the world so that they could witness the magic of these canyons. And he made sure that every single runner would earn food vouchers. And this is still going today, 20 years later. So I've been a runner all my life. That was the first sport that I fell in love with as a little kid. I was a weird little kid who loved running because I know most kids don't like to run. They like to play actual sports, but I like to run and I like to run far. I like to run distances. And so at a very young age, I got into this sport and I had no idea that it would lead to a lifetime of, of running and not just in my hometown of Boulder, but around the United States and around the world. And what running means to me is just friendship and community and support and love. And I like pushing myself, of course. I love training and hitting a personal best, but really I just love going to races because I love the vibe. The, the vibe at running races is always incredible. People are so supportive and loving and, and that's the world I wanna live in. I wish every day could be a race finish line because the energy at a race finish line and the magic at a race finish line is just off the charts. So this is Leadville Magic Hour. Runners are coming in right before the cutoff. You can see runners all the way down the street. And they're making it to the finish line right there. You know, people ask me all the time if it's safe to come here. You know, Mexico gets a bad rap in a lot of ways, mostly because of narco activity and, and murders. And if you watch the nightly news in the United States, it's just, it paints Mexico in a very bad light. And I've been traveling to Mexico for a lot of my adult life, and I have found a completely different side of Mexico than what you would see on the nightly news. I think the people here are incredibly generous and caring and thoughtful. I've never had any major issues, and I keep coming back because I just love Mexicans. I do. I love how they just, they just live life. They're just carefree and fun, and that mixes well with my attitude because I also like those things. It just feels really good to be back here. You know, I keep saying that and it's it sounds simplistic, but I just feel happy here. And I brought my mom here in 2020 and we had a wonderful time because I like showing the people I love places that I love. So my mom's been here, my brother's been here, and now my girlfriend Amelia is here for her very first time, and I'm really excited for her to experience this. Oh yeah! Woo! Run into the canyons! Yeah. And speaking of Amelia, whoop! There she is! Oh my god! Hello. So, hi Amelia, I'm so glad you're here. Mwah. So Amelia is a runner, a fast runner. I'll be, I'll be very lucky if I'm anywhere near her in the race on Sunday, but that doesn't matter. What matters is that she's here, and I'm so excited to share this with you. This is a really special place to me and I want you to experience all the magic of Eureka and the Caballo Blanco and all the people and the canyons and uh, it means a lot that you're here. Thank you, yeah. I'm stoked to be here. Yeah. Uh, 
you know, How's it feel so far? It's fantastic. You've been here for 24 hours. I've been, yes, I've been here in Eureka for 24 hours and it has exceeded all of my expectations. And it's unlike any other pre-race experience that I've ever had. I'm kind of used to people with the nerves and people wanting to make sure everything goes well on race day. And here it's just like, let's just enjoy this. Yeah. This is an experience. We are here, we are able to run and let's do this. And let's I just think that that's such a beautiful way to move through life. What are you uh, looking most looking forward to? I am just looking forward to I'm, I'm looking forward to the race and the people and being out there and everyone cheering themselves on. I'm not used to doing actually bigger races. So I'm used to being out in the woods by myself for, for long stretches of time. But here, you know, this is a pretty big race with hundreds of people. And I just hear the energy is so exciting and um, just really looking forward to just soaking it all in even when it's super painful, because I know it's gonna be super painful at times. <laughs> I'm massaging my butt. It's a pre-race ritual? Yeah, this is the best way to start the day. It's a good butt massage. See what we have here? We have Nutella, peanut butter, and a banana on a tortilla. I call it a Mexican power bar. Ooh, what's in there? Pop-Tarts. What's the story with Pop-Tarts? So, every year since the 2013, or every race since the 2013 Spartan Race World Championships, I've eaten a Pop-Tart pre-race. It's my good luck charm. So the world wants to know, what does Amelia Boone put in her hydration pack? Uh, I'm a big fan of maple syrup for a few lanes. So these are maple syrup packets. I generally really love mashed potatoes as well. I put them in little soft flasks, but no mashed potatoes and nothing that I could set up here. So uh, Don't just, worry, there's burritos on the there, course. There are burritos instead. I have never had a burrito uh, while racing. Certainly never had beans while racing. So... Uh, we're gonna we're gonna see. It's gonna what, open up a whole new world. We're gonna see what the stomach says. All right, I'm getting close to having everything ready. I have a new pair of orange Hoka Speed Goats. I'm very excited about these. I've got my GoPro to run with to document the race for you. I'll have a hydration vest, and that's about it. There's plenty of aid stations out there. They have fruit and water and even burritos in some aid stations, which is really the best thing you could ever have at an aid station. Frijoles! And of course, I gotta have some good luck Colorado socks on my feet. You ready to rock and roll? Ready to go. Let's do this. Let's do it. Let's go outside. Let's get it. Time to run free. Whoop whoop! <laughs> Get to the front. I don't think I can. <laughs> I don't want to push my way through. Uno! Good mood. 
road. We're all gonna have a great day. Life is good. Viva Mexico! Here's the route. We all start off in Yurique and head up to the village of Guadalupe Coronado. Turn around and head back down. Take a sharp turn and head up to Los Naranjos, the most beautiful part of the course. Then we come back down. We run through the town of Yurique again. Out, out, out on the long flat part. And then we go up to Los Alisos, which is the hardest part of the course, but they have the best burritos. Then we head all the way back down, back up to Guadalupe Coronado, turn around, and then we finish in Yurique. It is nice and cool right now. I'm really enjoying it. The sun still hasn't come up over those tall canyon walls. But when it does, it's gonna be hot. We're looking at like 85 degrees today. Vamo, vamo! Woo! I got it, Buenos días. Bien hecho, amigos. Vamos. Ánimo, ánimo. Vamos, 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 amigos. Y amigas. Hey. Bien hecho. Here we go, big jump. Woohoo. <laughs> NHL amigo! So we're starting to see some of the leaders turning around up here at the church. Animo, animo, animo! 80? 80, 80. Gracias! Gonna run right past this cool old mission right there. Look at that. Pretty sweet. And it's time to keep moving. Gracias, amigos! Eso, eso! Vamos, amigos! Vamos, vamos! Oh, yes! This is it right here. Just running with all my friends. Vamos, vamos, vamos! Si se puede! Vamos, vamos, vamos! That's a boom! <laughs> there are so many runners. It seems way bigger than it's ever been. And I love it. The bigger the better for me. Venga, 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 venga! Woo! I think I'm more tired from cheering than I am from running. That's all right. Muy bien! Vamos, vamos! That's a vamos! Yay! Actually, I love it. Good job, man. I love all the smiles. I love all the smiles. There goes my buddy from Great Britain. Whoop whoop! Bien hecho! Venga, venga, venga! Trae buen ritmo, Brian. Así es, me siento bien. Venga, bien. Sí, hombre. ¿Cómo te sientes, hombre? Bien. Oh, mira, caballo blanco. Uh, venga, venga, venga. Vamos, vamos. Buenos días, amigos. Buenos días, buenos días. Eso. Venga, 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 venga. Uh, bien hecho. Now we take a right turn and head up to Los Naranjos. All right, here we go. A little walk time. Just to get in the rhythm. Animo, amigo! Si, sí, vengo, vengo, vengo! Esperame! <laughs> it's easy to get caught up in the fast start because everybody here starts fast. Uh, I have to remember that I'm gonna be out here for like nine hours, so I gotta slow it down a bit, gather myself, and then keep on cruising. I finally found her 
the elusive Amelia Boone. There she is. Hi. How you doing? Good. Good. <laughs> Woo. Feeling good? Yeah. Right on. Might have gone out a bit too hot. Everybody does. I know. <laughs> it's hard to uh, hard to contain it. So yep. hopefully that doesn't bite me in the butt later on. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. This is stuff I normally don't run in a race this length. Yeah. And everybody's running it. And so I'm like, okay. You mean uphills? Like steep stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Single track time. Woo. Okay, I caught up with her. I'm good. She can go now. <laughs> Whatever. And this, my friends, is the famous pinole, the cornmeal superfood. And now we start the steep single track section, which is probably the most technical part of the course. I look at it as a good excuse to walk. <laughs> Buenos dias, vaca. You know, something very interesting. In a lot of the races, the trail races in the States, you're running on recreation trails where people go to hike, to get outside, and just recreate. These trails are not hiking trails. These trails are ancient trails that lead between the villages here and the can canyons. So we're just following the way that people have been walking and running for centuries in these canyons and it's kind of fun to be running through time and to think of all the people who have created this trail through thousands millions of footsteps Vamos amigos, vamos! Como estamos? Woo! Woo! Yeah! Look at this tree. Woo! Beautiful. nice and shady in here. I like it. Most of the course is in the blazing hot sun. So I'm gonna take a moment to enjoy this. Suero, gracias. Suero, gracias. I got my suero, which is like electrolyte salty water. Gracias. 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 Buenos dias. Can you imagine living there? Right here with these canyons right behind you. This place is stunning. Woo! I love it. Que escuchas, que escuchas, amigo? Suavecito para abajo. Suave, para abajo. Suavecito para abajo. Para abajo. Él es mi amigo Walbert. Mucho gusto. Lo conocí hace muchos años aquí en Yurique. Sí, hombre. Es Me... mi amigo Ryan. Así. Bienvenido. Gracias. No es de Urique, Urique es de él. Así es. Parte de mi corazón es está en Urique. Sí. Así es. Ah. Me encanta tu tierra, hombre. Gracias, bienvenido. Sí, gracias.
How are you liking this so far? Oh my god, I love it. It's amazing. It's uh, unlike any other race that I've done. Um, the people are great. And man, everybody charges hard. <laughs> I had to uh, remind myself in the beginning we have 50 miles to go that this isn't a 10K. Woof, 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 woof. <laughs> we did it. Animo, animo! Vamos, 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 vamos! I love seeing the ladies in their dresses. Beautiful. That's definitely what makes this race unique. You don't see a lot of that in any races in the United States, that's for sure. Hola, amigo! Animo, animo! All right, finally got down that steep road. I lost Amelia, she took off. <laughs> She's so fast. And uh, I feel pretty good. I think I might be suffering a little bit from having gone out really fast. So I'm taking it easy for a bit, eating and drinking, recuperating, because there's still more than half of the race left. Come on, Shadow. You can do it, buddy. Damn, yeah, yeah, Hola. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know, something I learned a long time ago is just walk through the aid stations, take time to eat and drink. It's too hard to like run and eat and you're like fumbling stuff around and trying to drink. It's not worth it. <laughs> so I'm just chilling. All right, now we're out on the hot, flat part. Pretty much the rest of the race is gonna be very hot, very exposed. Not a whole lot of shade, but that's all right. We all knew what we were getting into. We are at the bottom of the canyons after all. Bien hecho, amigo, bien hecho, animo, animo. So we're seeing some of the marathon distance people turning around. So we get to cheer them on, which is fun. It's just a big old run-in party down here. Everybody's going in a million different directions. <laughs> so my best time here is a little over nine hours. I think my best time is 9.10, but the course was a little bit different. So my goal today is just to maybe go a little bit faster than that. How's that? Always trying to get a little bit better <sighs> and having fun. Hola amigos, hola, hola, hola. It's fun having the machine gun machine gun guys cheer you on. Vamos Wabber, vamos Wabber! Vamos amigo Arrea! Ah, Hello cow. <laughs> It really feels so good to be back here. In 2020, the last time I did this, I was with my mom, I ran the race, it was amazing. And little did we know, little did the whole world know that we were about to be in a pandemic. And this was literally like two weeks before the pandemic hit. We were running down here, had no clue what was about to hit us. And so during the pandemic, I was always very thankful that I got to travel internationally one last time before everything shut down. Vamos, vamos, vamos! Bien hecho, amigos! Eso! There go the three leaders heading back. That means they've already been to the top of Los Alisos. I'm a little jealous. <laughs> Just kidding, I gotta earn this. Gracias por la gordita! <laughs> oh, these aid station people are so excited. They gave me a gordita full of beans to walk across this bridge on. It's, this bridge is really hard to run on because it kind of just takes your energy. So I'm just gonna walk. Here we go. Time to go up to Los Alisos. This, this for me is always the hardest part. 
it's steep and it's hot. And I know Amelia's way up there. She's kicking booty. That's awesome. Ooh, that burns the old calf muscles. But as we all know, nothing hurts as bad as long as you're smiling through it. So yeah, just keep smiling. Man, I'm crawling up this thing. So something that's pretty interesting to know is that none of these Tarumata Raramari run for like exercise after work, you know, like we do in the Western world. They are just really awesome athletes because they walk so much and they work hard outside and they play the rah rah hippery game, which is the game where they kick this very heavy ball for very, very long distances. And so for them, running is just a part of everyday life. It's not like us, like, oh, I'm gonna wake up at five in the morning, go on an hour run, then go to work. That's not how it works here. And it's amazing to see them just fly on these trails in their sandals. Yeah, there she is! Holy s**t, it's her! Woo -hoo. Looking Hannah, great! Here. That's you. Oh, thanks. Yeah, Mila, you're amazing! You. I'm proud of you! Woo! Okay, ya estamos en Los Alisos! Como estamos? Vamos bien! Excelente! Si, hombre, gracias. This aid station has electrolytes, water, oranges, pinole, and a basket full of tortillas and beans. Yeah. Comer, amigo. Comer. Bueno, gracias, amigos y amigas, por todo. Ustedes son mis héroes. <laughs> Chocala. Nos vemos. Adios. Gracias. Vamos. Vamos, vamos, vamos. <laughs> oh, Los Alisos, it's hard to get to, but I always love being here. Everybody's so cool. And they know that you've suffered to get here. So they're like, all right, we're going to hook you up. Animo. Okay, so 15 minutes ago, I felt pretty good. Now I feel worse. That's how it is running ultras. <laughs> Things can change in an instant. That's all right. Just keep moving forward, that's it. One step in front of the other. Poco a poco. I see us, amigo. Venga, venga, venga. Venga, venga, boom. Suerte. Vamos, amigos, vamos. Si se puede, si se puede. Bien hecho. Hola amigo. Ánimo, ánimo. Ah, eso. Ustedes son mis héroes. Gracias por todo. It felt so good to have him pour water on my head, but it just pushed a whole bunch of salt and sunscreen into my eyes, and now I'm blind. <laughs> Vamos amigo, vamos! Echele. So when I saw Amelia back there, she was leading, but there were two women not far at all behind her, like 50 meters. So she's got herself a race, and I'd say she's probably 45 minutes in front of me at this point. <laughs> yeah, she's a butt kicker. Come on, Shadow, you can do it, buddy. I just learned that Wediga is Raramari for like vamos, like, like let's go. So you hear a lot of people saying Wediga, Wediga. Hola, donkey. Hola, burro. <laughs> Burrito es. Un burrito. <laughs> so I'm in quite a bit of pain right now. <laughs> I'm hurting. So I'm just focusing on my breathing, really, just 
big breaths in with my nose and just and what that does is it helps just calm me down a bit because it's easy when you're deep in the pain cave and you're hurting to just panic a little bit like oh my god there's no way i can finish you know and i think when that happens when you go down a dark hole whether you're running or biking or doing anything in life you know your mind plays a big part in your success so i'm just chilling out enjoying the view enjoying the sound of my footsteps hitting the dirt and i'm just moving forward and that's it going through your EK. It's always a boost to see so many people. Federico Ryan Van Buster, de Colorado, USA. Uh, Hola, amigo, Hola, ¿qué tal? Hola, buddy. Oh. Woo, I think I can. I think I can. It is a, it is a different scene here now. This was so crowded with people earlier in the morning. Now, just me and a few other stragglers. Vamos, Miguel! Vamos, vamos! Si! Sí. Ya casi! That's Miguel Lara. He has won this race six times. He's like a local hero. They call him El Tigre, the tiger. And he's super cool. Man, I am worked. You know, I like these experiences. I learn a lot. When I do hard things, I learn a lot about myself and what I can do, what I'm capable of. And uh, that's a good thing. I like testing myself from time to time. I don't do a ton of ultra marathons, but when I do them, it's like a special occasion. It's a big deal. Even if it hurts like a mofo. <laughs> I see Amelia. I see Amelia. Whoop, whoop. Ole, 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 ole. Good job, good job. You look awesome. Way to go. Ba -ba -ba -bam. Go get them. Woo. Woo. Sweetness. She's going to get third place. That's pretty awesome. Come on, Shadow. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. There's nobody to whoop and holler with anymore, or at least not many. La última pulsera. La última y la ganadora. <laughs> Gracias, amigo. Muy amable. There's the cool church. Not moving as fast this time, but that's okay. Woo. Gracias a todos ustedes. Gracias por todo. ¿Y cuántos kilómetros faltan para Urique? Siete. Siete. Perfecto. Vamos, vamos. Gracias, amigos. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Vamos, amigos, vamos. Vamos, vamos. Ya estamos, ya estamos. <laughs> it's been fun running into him the whole day. We're excited because we're close. You know, we love running, but we also love not running <laughs> when it's time to hit the finish line then it's time to chill and i'm definitely looking forward to that this has been a tough one ouch 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 i don't know if it's because humans forget pain pretty quickly. But this feels like the most I've ever struggled in this race. <sighs> but that's okay. <sighs> I feel like when I struggle sometimes, I really find the most value in the experience because I'm really having to push it. And this gives me confidence going forward in life that I can do hard things. And when it gets to the point like it is right now where I'm like, oh my God, I can't. I know I can. Amigo! 
¡Échale ganas! Claro sí. sí, hombre. Oh. Ya. Yeah. We're getting closer. We're getting closer. Gracias. Sí, vamos. Hola. Good to see you. Un trabajo, güey. Gracias, hombre. What a day. What a place to run. I love it here. It's really special and I hope to always be able to come back here. It means a lot to me. Viva Urique! Vamos, vamos, vamos! Eso, vamos! <laughs> Yeah, it's a hard one. Gracias, como están? Excelente. Gracias, igualmente. Sí, qué buena, sí. Ella corre rápido. Mejores piernas que tú. Sí, es cierto. Good job. Thank you. Yes. This is how you should cool down after every race. Just sitting on the street, partying with everybody because the party is on the street. On the street. And just loving life. I mean, this is why I come down here. The race is cool, but this moment right here, everybody loves it. There's so much pride for this town and this race. And it's like one of the biggest days of the year here in Utica. And you got to live it. It's amazing. You got to live it. It's absolutely incredible. So, tough, tough race. But then everybody's just out here partying and having a good time. We've got festive music. It's amazing. Esa tierra tan llena de alegría. Ahí va la vida mía. Ahí va mi corazón. La novia. La novia. 